Hey guys, Steve Harris here with Museums.com. We have an exciting new widget for you today called the Pick a Date widget. So what this does is it allows you to kind of tie into a standard Muse contact form and build in a date or time picker. So you can see on our sample site here, we have a free consultation form, just a very simple one at the bottom. And if I mouse over, choose a date and click on it, we get this really kind of stylish animated pop-up that comes up. We can navigate through a calendar here and select a date. And when we do that, the date appears in that field and we can hit send, which of course sends your contact form to whatever location you've selected. So that's how pick a date works. It's really cool because it ties into the existing contact form and you don't really need to change your workflow or embed third party systems or anything like that. So let me jump into Muse and show you how this works. The first thing we'll do on our Muse canvas here is of course build a simple contact form. So I'll just go into our Muse widget library and drag out a simple contact form just like that. Okay. And now because we have this option called edit together turned on and we'll need to turn that off later on, I suggest you style your form first. So let's just add some style to this form. I'll change the text. Let's go with something like Proxima Nova. I'll change the form field text to be a little bit smaller and maybe let's go with Proxima Nova black. I'll turn the italics off. Ooh, black's a little too heavy. Let's just go with the semi bold. Okay, perfect. And I'm also going to move our submit button down out of the way. I need some more fields in there. So let's also change that to Proxima Nova. We'll go semi bold. And let's change the outline on that. Let's go with, I'm going to add our orange here. Okay, perfect. Just like that. So there, now let's say that I've finished styling my form and I want to add the date picker in. So how do I do it? So you'll need to download this widget and when it's in your library panel, you just drag it out on the canvas and let me close this window so you can see it a little better and open up the panel here. You can see that it's quite a big panel. So it's almost cutting off on my screen. I'm on a 15 inch MacBook. Uh, there is a solution coming down the road for large panels and we're waiting for that to come out now. However, in the meantime, if you can't see all the options on this panel, we always recommend you up your screen resolution if you can so that you can see all the options. So at the very top of this panel, it says enable date picker and enable time picker and it allows you to enter in a graphic style name or option. So what we'll do here is let's go back to our contact form. I'm going to turn off edit together. Okay, and now I want to add a single line text custom field. So let's click plus on there. So that added this next field. I'm going to give this field a name. Let's just go with choose a date like that. Perfect. And I'm going to change the text in here just to say date there. Okay. So now what I need to do is apply a graphic style to this field. Now you need to make sure to be careful here because if you select on it once, you get this whole block, which you can see up in the top left, it says form field. We want to click again there so that we actually get the text input field. And you can make sure up in the left here, it says that as well. So once you have the text input field selected, then you can go to the graphic styles panel create a new graphic style. I'm going to call it date and click OK there. So now you've applied a style to that field. Now if we go back to our widget panel here up at the top where we have enable date picker, we can select or enter in the name of the graphic style we've just created. Now it's already pre-filled with date, so we actually don't need to do anything else here. I'm going to turn off the time picker for now since we haven't set one up. And below that, we have just all of the options for kind of formatting the date, the styling of our calendar, etc. So let me go ahead and preview this in the browser so we can make sure it's working. Okay, so we have our contact form. If I mouse over the date, we get a button. And if I click on it, the calendar comes up. Perfect. And if I select a date in there, it does fill it in. So this looks to be working really nicely. So let's go back to Muse and let's run through some of these options here. So in the date settings, we have the date format, which is just the way that the date looks. Of course, there's tons of different options there. We have a bunch of check boxes here where we can set to pre-fill it with today's current date. We can select to close the calendar when you do select a date. And we can turn on and off the ability to hide the month and the year if you just want a specific day selected. 
Next up, we have start and stop dates to show on the calendar. So if you only want people to select a date within a certain range, let's say you're a bed and breakfast and you're only available for one month, then you'd wanna set your start date and your end date, let's say to fill that particular month. Below that for the time settings, this is only appropriate for the actual time picker component of this, but we can do the same thing. We can have the start time be, let's say business hours, eight to five. Maybe this would be for check-in times. And lastly, below that we have styling options. So in the styling options, we have the background color of the calendar, the opacity, the font. Right now it's just by default set to Arial. We have the font size. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. On our demo, it was a little big. Let's go to 12. Now we have the font color, the arrow colors. I'm gonna set the arrow colors to our orange. We have the date hovered, the current date, the selected date. So all colors that you can customize to better match your brand. Lastly, we have easing control. So this is more for the animation that you're seeing. So let's just set a little bit of a different easing and a slower transition time. Let's go to 0.8. So it should come in a little bit slower there. Perfect. Okay, so now that I've set up some styling options, the last thing I'm gonna do before I preview this again is I'm going to add in that time picker as well. So you do this the exact same way as you did the date picker. We just need to enable it. And right now we have the graphic style name set as time, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's add a single line text. Let's say time, just like that. We'll go choose a time, okay. I kind of did this backwards from the one above, that's funny. So now that I have this field set there, I'm gonna select a graphic style and let's call this time. Okay, and this is where you wanna make sure that edit together is not selected because if I had those selected, this would have actually applied the time style to the date one as well and actually all the rest because what you do to one does to all the others when you have that selected. So just make sure that's turned off. Okay, so now we have a time field set up. We have the graphic style linked up. It's named appropriately based on what we have in here. And we have our start time and our stop time. Let's set our start time to say, oh, something like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There you go, short day. Okay, so let's preview this in the browser. So we have our date, I can select the date. You can see that the font size now is much smaller. Our arrows have changed, all that looks good. And then we have the time. So if I mouse over the time, click on it, comes up with a little time window. And if you have a big list of times in here, you can actually scroll this window up and down as needed. So let's select one of those, select one of those, perfect. Now when you receive the contact form for this, it's just going to say custom field and it will show the date. And then same thing, custom field and it will show the time. So that's how the date and time picker works. I hope you like this widget. We thought it was really clever and really cool um, and a really stylish way to add this into a somewhat basic contact form. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a show. Thanks again for watching and best of luck. Cheers.